My name's Kimberly May and I'm a student from the University of Bath and I'm going to show you how to divide using a method called chunking. Now this could be useful if you've just done it in school or if you're a parent and you want to help your child with homework. So I'm going to start with an example. So I'm going to start 72 divided by 3. So I start by writing 72. And I think to myself, what's the biggest and easiest number in the 3 times table that I can take away from 72? So I think, I know that 10 times 3 is 30, so I'll try that. So I take away 30. And I write next to the side 10 times 3. So then I do the subtraction sum. I know that 2 minus 0 is 2. And 7 minus 3 is 4. So I'm left with 42. So now I think again. What's the biggest and easiest number in the 3 times table that I can take away from 42? So I can know I can try 10 times 3 again. So I take away 30. And I write next to the side 10 times 3. So then I do the subtraction. Do 2 minus 0 is 2, and 4 minus 3 is 1. So I'm left with 12. Then I think, hang on, I know what 12 is. 12 is 4 times 3, so I can write that next to the side. So now we're finished and we can work out my answer. So we know 72 divided by 3 and then we just add up the numbers in this column here. So we know it equals 10 plus 10 plus 4. Which equals 24. So now we'll try a second example. hundred and fourteen divided by six. So I start off again by writing a hundred and fourteen. Then I think again, a really big number in the six times table that I can take away from a hundred and fourteen. So I try ten times six, which is sixty. So I take away sixty, which is ten times six. And then I do the subtraction, so 4 minus 0 is 4. So I write that. And then 1 minus 6 doesn't go, so I have to do 11 minus 6, which is 5. So I'm left with 54. So I think again, we need a big number in the 6 times table that I can take away from 54. This time, 10 times 6 doesn't go. But I know that 5 times 6 is 30, so I'll try that. So I take away 30. And I write next to it 5 times 6. So then I do the subtraction. 4 minus 0 is 4. And 5 minus 3 is 2. I'm left with 24. So I think again, number in the 6 times table. Well, I know that 2 times 6 is 12. So I take that away. And I write next to it 2 times 6. Now I do the subtraction. 4 minus 2 is 2. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So then I'm left with 12. But that's just 2 times 6. So I can write that next to it. So now we can work out the answer. 114 divided by 6 equals 10 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2. So I write that in. Which equals 19. So 114 divided by 6 it equals 19. Thank you for watching.